What's going on, everyone? Happy Friday. The weekend is almost here. And just when you thought we were done with the Acolyte, well, not so fast, my friends. Um, over at Bounding Into Comics, Spencer Bakuli put out this article, and I'm going to pull a couple excerpts from it. The Acolyte lead Manny Jinkito says series diverse casting means even more people of color will be able to relate to and celebrate and see themselves in this entity that is Star Wars. Wow. Checking boxes again, are we? But what I want to talk about here is this. And this um, comes from an interview he did prior to episode eight, the season finale being released on Tuesday. And let me find where it is here. Reflecting on his own history with the franchise, Jen Quinto, his, himself a Filipino, recalled, I remember watching all the, all the movies with my parents growing up. If I'm completely transparent to you, Star Wars was cool. Star Wars was cool before Disney destroyed it. It was something I admired, but almost from afar, maybe because I didn't see anybody like me in Star Wars. It was never something I aspired to be in the way I'd watch a Jackie Chan film or something and go, oh wait, I want to do that. Making note of his host's fellow Asian heritage, the actor that opined, I know there are plenty of Star Wars fans that look like you and me already, but it's exciting that in this new iteration we have Lee Jung Jae, myself, Amandala, Jody Turner Smith. Now, even more people of color will be able to relate and to celebrate and to see themselves in this entity that is Star Wars. I'm going to stop right there. This needs to stop. This needs to end. I'm going to use this as an example. If you're playing, pick a game. Madden NFL football. MLB The Show. Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario World. Yoshi's, I forget the, the Yoshi game on N64, Nintendo. But I digress. You don't play those games because you identify as an Italian plumber or you identify as uh, a person of color. You play those games because you enjoy playing those games. And right here, what he is saying is that if, if you don't have people of color or of diverse backgrounds in star Wars, then people Fans of diverse backgrounds won't enjoy it because they can't see themselves in it. And that's just flat out, flat out, flat out wrong. What needs to happen, I've preached this and preached this and preached this and preached this in other videos. And if you don't believe me, check them out. If you want people to watch, you want people to tune in, tell a compelling story with character development. People identify with stories. I'll use one. Hillbilly Elegy. Based on the book written by Vice, President, Vice Presidential Candidate J.D. Vance. It's a compelling story about his upbringing. The book is the number one bestseller on Amazon. In fact, the hardback and paperback are number one and two right now. It's having a resurgence after his VP nomination. The movie was derided by critics, 25% on Rotten Tomatoes, 80% plus audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, 6.7 out of 10 on IMDb. But people gravitated to it because of the story. It wasn't because he was a white man and at, growing up in Appalachia and, and people identified with him because they were white. It didn't matter what the color of his skin was. Just like playing a game. You don't play a game 
or interested in playing a game because you're interested in the color or the ethnicity of the character in the game. You play the game because you enjoy the story, the plot. Same thing with entertainment, same thing with movies, same thing with TV. You enjoy something not because you identify with that person's color, ethnicity, whatever. You enjoy that, that movie, that TV show because of the story, the characters, the plot. And this is where Hollywood is broken. Later on in the interview, Jinkito would reveal that his sense of racial othering actually helped inform his performance as the Acolyte's resident Sith. Speaking to his enjoyment of playing the character, the actor explained, I think the best part of the stranger is that he's the Avatar for not feeling accepted in a society that you're trying so hard to fit into. He just wants to exist. He wants to be able to express himself in this world, yet society is constantly telling him that he can't. Leslie has expressed that she's always felt that way as a female showrunner, as a lesbian in this industry, that sometimes people don't take her seriously. He continued, she's constantly had to prove herself in an industry that isn't very open to people like her or myself. Having an Asian identity and fitting into American society, fitting into Hollywood, I've had to fight so hard to fit in. And that's a huge aspect of The Stranger. Now, what I'm going to say to this is, and some of you may agree with me, some of you may not. I can't speak from his experience, but I can say this. Having to work harder to, or even work hard to get to where you want to go actually improves your character as an individual, as a person. And if people know you're willing to put in the work, doesn't matter what your skin color is, doesn't matter where you come from, what your background is, if people know that you're going to put in the work and that you are a hardworking individual, you are going to make it and get further than those that do not want to work hard. Period. End of story. That's life. That's acting. That's sports. Doesn't matter. If you put in the work and you put in the effort, people will see it. And people will gravitate towards you. People will be more apt to bring you in for a specific role. Regardless. Again, of skin color, ethnicity, race, whatever. So there's my thoughts on this article. There's my thoughts on his opinion. And you may agree with me. You may disagree with me. Comment down below. Like to hear what everybody has to say out there. And um, while you're at it, Please take the time to smash that like button. That helps out with the YouTube algorithm. That helps me out over on Rumble. I do post over on Rumble too. Um, and if you like what, I, what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel. That's the best way to help support me and the channel is to subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Share this video out with your friends and family. And with that, I will see you guys later.